Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Underwater, which opens January 10th, 2020, courtesy of Fox, also known as Disney. Uh, this is one of the titles that was unfortunately uh, stuck uh, from being released uh, due to the Fox-Disney merger, so it filmed in spring of 2017, uh, finally getting a theatric theatrical release three years later, uh, although the January release date doesn't bode well for the studio's hopes for the project, it feels like something that probably would have opened in about August. Uh, that said, it's not, it's almost a good film. That, that's what it feels like. It's clearly a, a ripoff of Ridley Scott's classic 1979 Alien mixed with the dash of the Poseidon Adventure. Uh, it was based on a screenplay that was uh, a blacklist screenplay by Brian Duffield, uh, rewritten by Adam Kazard, who wrote the last Tarzan film. And it's the third feature by director William Eubank, whose first film was 2011's Love, which uh, is about a astronaut stuck in orbit who's lost contact with Earth, which is kind of similar to the plot of Underwater, and 2014's The Signal, which also, I would argue, has uh, similar thematics. In short, Underwater is about a group of people stuck uh, seven miles uh, underneath, uh, seven miles below the surface of the ocean uh, that were part of uh, this major drill that has been driven down into the core of the earth, which the way that the film's faux environmental messages come across, it's kind of like earth rape. Uh, Kristen Stewart stars as a mechanical engineer who uh, is leading uh, the straggling survivors, including the captain, played by Vincent Cassell, uh, John Gallagher Jr., uh, Jessica Henwick, and uh, the cancer of the movie, played by T.J. Miller, uh, who's meant to be comic relief but kind of throws the whole thing out of whack. Uh, special effects kind of get in the way. Uh, there, there's some murky underwater elements that hide some of the action that's happening uh, and disguise some of the underwater creatures in ways that uh, aren't necessarily pleasurable. Uh, but the cinematography by Bojan Bazelli, who uh, has often worked with Gore Verbinski, uh, worked well enough. Uh, the budget was about $80 million. Uh, it, The film looks good. I, I would recommend seeing it on the big screen. And Kristen Stewart, uh, as always, is uh, quite likable, despite some of the many of the shortcomings of the script's uh, characterizations. Uh, overall, I would give this film two out of five stars. Uh, again, that sounds a little low. It, it clips along at a well, it, it, it clips along at a, a, a good pace, and it's a decent action film. It's just that it feels uh, very derivative and uh, in need of uh, some better characterization. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.